Hey there, folks. Um, this is Mark Olifson, um, talking you through a presentation uh, that we at the Terran Institute for Innovative Education did at uh, Vermont Fest in 2013. This is a presentation around augmented reality with the Arasma app um, that uh, I did along with Audrey Homan. So the presentation was titled Virtual Pictures at an Exhibition, Augmented Reality in the Classroom with Arasma. Um, first, a little bit about the Terran Institute for Innovative Education. Uh, we support technology integration in middle schools. We partner with a number of middle schools right here in Vermont, um, really looking at increasing student engagement. Um, we fund technology, we do one-on-one uh, -on -one professional development, uh, and we also do a lot of research and dissemination through programs such as this. This presentation, uh, the first thing that we asked folks to do was to set up Orasma on their own mobile devices. It is a free app that you can get uh, in the App Store if you're on an Apple device or through Google Play if you're on an Android device. Um, one of the nice things about Orasma is that it does keep individual channels that helps you uh, maintain some privacy settings so that um, you can have your content only available to a limited audience and that's what we ask folks to go through is set up on uh, the TIIE channel. Um, here's a quick video of what it looks like uh, pulling in and looking at Aura. So you can see here that once it senses the trigger image, um, a number of buttons come up. We program this Aura to be that way. Um, and that's a book trailer. It's an option to take a quiz about the book. Then also to answer a poll. That's great. Um, so we set up a number of different auras around the room and um, we now have some videos showing you what some of those auras looked like. I think that King Kong is an extremely Lovecraftian film. It's one of those non-Lovecraftian, extremely Lovecraftian films where you have this, this, this creature existing in the ruins of this fallen civilization being worshipped by people who no longer quite grasp So the question is, why should we think about augmenting my classroom reality? Uh, the idea is that we can connect the concrete objects to more conceptual ideas. Um, we can also go from local objects to global understandings. Uh, we can think about all the differences in meanings of different objects. So as you saw, there can be a number of different auras embedded in the same object, and it helps to broaden our thinking about what these things mean to different people and different audiences. It's also a great place for students to share their technology-created content. Um, so very often we've asked you know, students to make videos, to build websites, all these things, but it can be hard to display those things the same way that we could hang posters that kids did on projects um, around our classroom. So augmented reality really allows us, using the trigger images and auras, to have that content out in the hallways um, like we're used to. Uh, and it really does enrich the classroom, the library, and school. We had a number of media specialists work with this stuff. Fantastic. As you saw, we can embed content into book covers. We had an art teacher embedding performances into photos. Really great stuff. Um, some quotes from educators. Students really did uh, receive the activity well. Um, they, since this does make the audience larger, they're definitely motivated to perform at their best. 
Um, and we talked a little bit about that dissemination piece. Great for students to be able to explore videos that their classmates created. Um, one of the nice things about the Orasma app and programmer is that it's, it meets students where they're at technology-wise, and they really can, um, without too much difficulty, put together um, auras for their peers. Uh, one thing do, to keep in mind is that Orasma does depend on internet connectivity. So if you have a building or a situation where the internet connectivity is poor, that can, that can present a challenge. Um, let's take a look at what some students have to say. What we were doing with Orasma was a scavenger. Space and being so that you went from book to book, um, finding clues. Started by making a poster on Google Docs and printing that out, then setting up a trailer for that, which would lead you to, which would give you a clue to the next Erasmus book. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. what are two things you really enjoy about Erasmus? Um, we finished the session by opening up the forum and having the teachers talk with each other about ideas that they had generated. Um, we heard some great ideas from science teachers, from arts teachers, from language arts teachers, uh, thinking about ways to incorporate this media into their classroom. Really fantastic stuff. Um, and on our website we have a number of resources to help you get up and going with Orasma into your classroom. Uh, we also looked a little bit at uh, how to make auras using the studio at Erasma. Um, it's essentially a, a series of uploading the trigger images. Those are the images that your uh, device is going to sense. Is going to sense. Um, and then uploading the overlays or auras, the videos, websites, what have you, um, and then linking the two. So it's kind of a three-step process. That is all. Thank you guys so much for checking out our Orasma presentation.